Hello everyone, I'm Joel Anderson, director at Archway Gallery. On behalf of our 34 member artists, welcome to our 13th annual juried exhibition. Each year we ask our local Houston area artists to submit works up to two pieces for consideration in being exhibited in the front space of our gallery. This year we had 147 artists submit 282 pieces and from that, our juror called that down to 43 pieces, which are exhibited this month. We partner with a, a local charity also, in that 50% of the proceeds go to the artist, and the other 50% go to the local charity. Here to introduce the local charity this year is one of the co-chairs of our event, Liz Conces Spencer. Liz. Hi everybody, I'm Liz Conces Spencer. With Becky Soria, I'm pleased to co-chair the 13th Annual Juried Exhibition. Um, at this time, I'd like to introduce our charity partner for this year. We have brought back the Houston Junior Forum, which is an organization I have a lot of regard for, high regard. Um, I can't walk into their resale shop without walking out with something, more than one thing usually. Uh, they do a lot of good in our community, and it is our pleasure to introduce the outgoing and incoming presidents of the Houston Junior Forum, Linda West and Sherry Cooley, respectively. Thank you. Okay. So thank you, Liz and Becky, for having us here today. We are so happy to be partner with the Archways Galleries and your jewelry exhibit, and we really appreciate the donations that you make to our organization. Houston Junior Forum is a not-for-profit organization that works with women, children, young adults, and seniors. We were started in 1946 by a group of 22 women who saw a need for this sort of service work in the city of Houston. In the years since, we have developed a preschool that was uh, in the Mexican-American community of the city. We've also had a um, college scholarship program that we set up, and we have a community grants program. Now, Linda, did you want to say a few things? Well, um, I'm just, again, very glad that, that we have been chosen to be the charitable partner for Archway Gallery again this year. Uh, we are looking forward to doing many projects with you in the future and have a few new things in our head that we want to discuss with you. But, uh, but as I said, it is my favorite gallery. Uh, I love the entrepreneurship in this gallery. Uh, it, the fact that the artists are owners here and that they manage and run the gallery and the creativity that's here is, is bar none the best in the city of Houston. So whenever I have a guest from out of town, I take a visit to Archway Gallery because I want to showcase the best in the arts that Houston has to offer. So thank you, Archway. Thank you. Hello, I'm Becky Soria. I'm one of the artists of the Archway Gallery. And together with Liz Spencer, uh, we put together this jury exhibition of this year. Our juror was selected, uh, Wayne Gilbert was selected uh, because he did such a great job uh, last year in 2020 that we decided to keep him on this year. Wayne is a very special kind of an artist who in himself does work uh, collecting remains of uncollected Americans from funeral homes in questioning what is art and why do we do art and what defines art. With that, it is the peculiar or mystifying an undertaking that can result in such a huge worldwide industry sometimes relegating to the lofty world of priceless. Wayne is the kind of a man that has given himself and contributed a lot to the arts in the Houston community. He and his wife, lovely Beverly, own a gallery, G-Spot, and the Heights, and it's a wonderful place, G-Spot Contemporary, uh, where he can find uh, people from all over Texas that come and can show at the gallery. Wayne has been 
uh, prepared and studied in a different universities. I think he, start, he started with Houston University with an undergraduate and then continued with Rice University with his AMA. But basically, both him and his wife Everly are lovely people and we enjoy having them uh, because of not only their kindness and the kind of knowledge that Wayne has about art um, but because he's such a pillar of the community. Okay. Well, um, I just want to say thank you very much to Wayne uh, for doing this tremendous job. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Wayne Gilbert, our juror for 2021. Okay, well, I want to thank everybody for asking me to jury this year's Archway Show. Uh, obviously, um, we had a lot of good entries. We had a Probably a better way to put it, we had a year where there wasn't anything to do but make art, uh, unfortunately, and, and or fortunately, whichever you wish. Okay. Anyway, uh, it was, again, always the difficult part of being a juror is not what you choose, but what you can't choose, because you always have to leave some out. So this was a particularly hard year because there was a lot of really good pieces in here, 318 pieces, and I was only able to get about 40-something. So anyway, I'll start with Allie here. Allie, I think, uh, this piece was chosen as number one because I had a nice feel that it reflected that sort of isolation of the year that we just went through. Uh, not, a long, not to mention that he used a good uh, combination of paint and materials, both rough and clean. Uh, and I think, as you can see, his eyes pretty much tell it all. So anyway, that would be about the best I can give you on the first one. Okay, great. Well, this is Wendy. Wendy's piece is Wendy Moreland. Uh, I just had a great admiration for the amount of time and effort, you know, art being a discipline. Uh, you can somehow sometimes put yourself in the position of the artist and try to reflect on how long it takes and took them to do it. And in this case, this is all paper that has been uh, folded and twisted and it just uh, actually made a pretty good piece of abstract art. Uh, and so I thought it was a great little piece for number two. Yep. Anyway, I chose number three, Ruthie Sings. I, I just enjoyed that. I did. I think this was... Uh, um, LGBT month in Houston and I think the photograph was pretty reflective of the uh, month that just has gone by and I thought he did a really nice job of capturing these uh, two people in the middle of a really sort of random crowd and uh, you can see sort of their uh, kind of love for one another and I just thought it was an admirable photograph and so I chose it to be number three. Yeah, Michael Harbaugh, I, he had actually two pieces, and I just, uh, uh, as far as the sculpture is concerned, I just enjoyed the fact that he was able to take this little sort of little chunks and pieces of metal and make a nice looking little uh, Navy uh, uh, piece. I, I can't, sometimes I can't tell you why things did my, appeal to me, but they do, and this little piece of sculpture did, and so I chose it as an honorable mention. Yeah, yeah, I chose Cameron Rowe. I liked he had actually had two pieces, and uh, um, when I saw the photograph, I was okay in a certain way. I liked it, but I do kind of sim by, but when I got into the gallery and saw the size and the work and the rough, uh, uh, rust uh, pieces of metal, I liked it, and it just, I don't know, it just kind of be nice to have it in your house. Yeah, I really enjoyed Karen uh, Isley a piece, uh, not only has she got a really nice picture of a really pr a pretty lady here, but she actually took this uh, kind of a vague, rusty background and put in this delightful little um, flowering, smooth, manipulated blue dress and left uh, lots of it open. So it just, it just felt almost like a, um, sort of a, I guess, I'm trying to find the right word, uh, apparitional feeling. I thought Zach Murray did a really good job of, uh, uh, this was a, again, one of these disciplines and the amount of time it takes to do a painting and how labor intensive it is. And he had a nice kind of industrial feeling that, that not only can you imagine yourself having to work at a place like this, and, but he also did the layering in a way that I thought was pretty good and then he, he kind of cleaned it all up with some burning and some uh, 
give you a little bit of a frame feeling and, and left a way out if you needed to leave. And I chose Benji Styles uh, not only because uh, I know Benji and I've been watching him do work for a long while here and he's been really progressing in a way that uh, again when he entered the show here uh, I thought he had a really nice uh, piece of abstract work with enough of the smooth elements and softness and some roughness and so it really kind of had just an overall uh, strength to it that I enjoyed seeing. Uh, and again, being a discipline art and you somehow reflect in your mind how, how much time it might have made, to, excuse me, how much time it might have taken you to make a piece of art if you were doing something and I only practice patience so I don't have any of it. So when I see art like this, I'm always kind of, I admire it because if you knew this is a charcoal and gold leaf on paper and it's just done just the smoothness and the clean uh, um, surface condition is just, just, and it's also got this reflective of sort of a quiet reflection and loneliness, but also um, it's just got some clean, it's got some gold leaf into it, it never hurts. And I enjoyed seeing it. Uh, yeah, I want to thank everybody for having me uh, do this this year. Uh, again, it was a little bit, um, I did it last year. So this year I can always sort of look back at what was shown, what was given to me last year, this year. And you can really see a reflection of this historical era that we just went through, hopefully went through, let's hope it's over. So again, I enjoyed it because they had really, uh, had a really great um, community of artists that sent in work and it made it really hard to choose this year, but it's, but it was a delight to see their work. And I want to thank you again. The exhibition runs through Wednesday, August 4th. If you'd like to come by, we're open Tuesdays through Saturdays, 10 to 6, and on Sundays, 1 to 5. We also have all the pieces exhibited on our store at archwaygallery.com store. Thank you, everyone.